Hey Libra and welcome to your weekly love tarot readings. We are going to take a look at the messages coming in for you here. These messages are intended for Libra Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and to those cross-watching. So as long as you hold a romantic interest in mind as I do this reading, it shall apply guys. We are going to take a look at the um, at their biggest regret here. So let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and see what is their biggest regret here. regrets not being patient enough here when it comes to your relationship and your connection with them they regret not giving you enough time not getting to know you more personally on a more deeper level um, they weren't always patient enough I don't feel I feel like they've ended things they didn't really get a chance to explore you and therefore therefore they sort of robbed themselves of the opportunity um, to you know to manifest anything with you they also rob you of the opportunity to get to know them on a more deeper intimate level here this person sort of things ended abruptly right is what I'm getting um, this person might have like ghosted you or they might have like disappear they might have fizzled out from the connection so although the two of you might have still been co uh, communicating towards the end it wasn't like proper communication there was a shift in the relationship and you sense that right you sense that something shifted something changed for you there was also a lot of manipulation here okay this person might have emotionally manipulated you throughout the connection they might have um because the magician, right, uh, you know, he, he tends to misdirect our attention here and is good at what he does. After all, it is his, um, you know, it's his, um, it's what he does. It's showmanship. It's mental deception, mental trickery here. So someone here, well, this person in particular, regrets not always being honest with you. Um, fabricating the truth at times, being a little bit dishonest here. Or trying to distract you so you wouldn't um, call them out like for instance there were times in the past when you wanted to have a you know a very open and honest communication about what was going on between the two of you or about where this was heading or you know you really wanted to talk to them and this person would never really sit down and give you their full attention they would constantly like um, act in a very distracting manner or they would just sort of um, try and distract you from you know what was really important here hmm they regret not seeing things differently here they regret not considering things from your perspective because I feel like there might have been something that you might have said to them um, how they might have been very selfish in their ways here but this person regrets not understanding you not giving you the time to not taking the time to truly understand you and understand this connection here or understand how this could work going forward here so they do have a lot of regrets they, they definitely weren't patient enough they ended things prematurely here with you or they disappeared um, they regret not being very honest with you as well being a bit of an um, emotional manipulator here deceitful they might have lied to you on more than one occasion here and this person regrets okay you've got the nine of cups that has um fallen out in the nine of pentacles sorry the seven of cups and the nine of pentacles here um they never okay they didn't necessarily act they didn't necessarily act in accordance to their emotions here this person regrets see they were doing a lot of wishful thinking they were wishing that they might you know that uh, they might change and they were wishing that you know things could happen to improve the situation there was a lot of wishing there was a lot of wishing um, for something to happen for something to shift for something to change but you have to be the change that you want to see you know in any given situation um, and truth be told you know if someone wants something bad enough or if someone wants you know uh, to manifest or to make something happen they would make a conscious effort to you know to to try and work towards that it feels like this person wasn't as invested in your relationship or in getting to know you here this person was a little bit like 
to me it feels like they had you know one foot in the door one foot out the door like they were just you, you text them and they would respond but notice how they never truly you know made plans or went out of their way to you know to arrange something special or went out of their way to initiate communication or conversation it was always you so they regret being a little bit self-centered they, they regret they do have a very independent energy about them right um and they have a kind of energy where i don't need you i just want you um and this person regrets being a little bit um too stubborn here a little bit too self-absorbed a little bit too self-centered here they regret not investing more time and more energy into this connection and into getting to know you a wheel of fortune okay um exactly it's sort of like they didn't make the effort okay the wheel of fortune here in reverse this person like here you were you know you were right there you were in front of them you were invested you were willing you were ready to commit to them you were ready to get to know them you were ready for you know uh to make things happen here this person didn't make the effort they didn't they didn't in fact they admit to complicating further complicating things between you and them they were like i'm not sure whether it was this connection here had a lot of layers of complexity here or i'm not sure whether this person that you were dealing with was a very complex individual here but they regret not simplifying things they regret making things a little bit more complicated and a little bit more harder than they should have been um and it's like they didn't go it's no i don't see i feel like this person didn't they didn't go out of their way here to to you know to to connect with you they didn't go out of their way to get to know you here it it felt like it felt like you were doing all the work and now looking back at this um they now realize that they probably should have stepped up more they probably should have you know initiated more made more contact made more effort took you know took the time out to get to know you here because relationships are you know they, they work here and this person just they didn't work hard enough they did not work hard enough to make this happen for the two of you They took the easy way out is what I'm seeing. They took the easy way out and they regret that. They regret taking the easy way out. They took a shortcut and look where it's got them. It led them to led them down the road without you and they regret that. Okay, you've got the moon here. Now this person was never really certain about their emotions, okay? It feels like you remember how I said one foot in, one foot out kind of thing here? This person wasn't always certain about, you know, what they felt for you or they weren't certain whether they were fully interested or fully or going to want to invest, you know, into this connection. It felt like there was this dualistic nature to their um to their energy and it felt like this person wasn't always convinced. But here's the thing. I mean, to be truly sure of something or someone, you have to give them a go, right? Otherwise, how would you know? You'd forever be in this realm of uncertainty. And they've never they've never given you the go, um, and they've never given this connection a proper go. So their biggest chance, I mean, the biggest regret is they robbed themselves and they robbed you of the opportunity to get to know one another. Um, you know, to to build on this connection. Um, you know, they took they thought they they took the easy way out. They thought they took the shortcut, but often the often um, the easy way out is actually the hard way. Um, it's just the easy way out is just sugar coated here um so look this person still thinks about you they do they still think about you and they still think about what could have happened they just regret not giving things a proper go they regret disappearing on you they regret ghosting you they regret not paying enough attention a lot of the times you know the two of you were seated opposite each other but they'd have their face in their phone they just they were self self centered they were responding to the emails or you know they might have had other options around them as well um none of this had to be as complicated as it was but they regret complicating things they regret not you know um simplifying things for either of you 
and there we have it that's all i have for you guys thank you for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to this channel liking sharing or commenting um i will be sharing with you more love tarot readings throughout the week so stay tuned thank you guys again bye for now